Welcome to Hey Bronda's Beer Reviews. I'm Bonnie. <laughs> I'm Ian. Uh, Bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah, it's been a long day at work. Um, today we are reviewing day 10 of the Booze Bud Advent Calendar. And it is ta-da! Stockade Brew Co. Refreshing Ale. Seeing these about and... First choice. First choice? Possibly even Coles, which they're the same suppliers anyway. Oh. Um, oh. 375 ml, 4.2% alcohol, all for beer, beer for all, it says. Dun, um, dun, dun. Brewed and canned by Tri Brewery Breweries. Bre Tri Breweries, hey? Breweries. Um, crafting beer that quenches every thirst, refreshing ale. Hit the refresh button with the crisp passion fruit and subtle biscuit malts in this cleansing ale. Ooh, biscuity malts. Mm, we shall see. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Hopefully this goes down well. Oh, ghost my wind there. my wind ghost is back. Ba, 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 bum, ba, bum, bum. So, what's your cra crazy favourite Christmas song? Oh. Once upon a time, Bethlehem. Uh, yeah. I should learn the rest of the words so I can sing with Dennis Walter on the Christmas carols. Please save me. Um, it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. I can't really smell, I've got a bit of dirt on my nose. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> We've been, been doing a lot of gardening, mowing. Um, there's not a lot of hop aroma, even when I really give it a good bong inhale. It's kind of like a nothingness. Yeah, I need another sip mm. to, give, to give you anything. How good are these op shop glasses? My new additions. It's got a nothingness aftertaste almost. I don't know, like something like it's been a long time since I had Foster's Lager, but it's... I don't you know what I don't think I've ever, still to this day, had a Foster's Lager. Yeah, no, we can change that. Does that make me un Australian? I don't know. Some people might say yes to that. So it's sweet, it doesn't have a hop aroma. It's, it is slightly biscuity though. It is. And I feel like I only know that because they stated it on the can. And it's called a refreshing ale, I guess. It's really easy to drink. It's not really... That light's really annoying behind me. Sorry, I've just moved. It kind of is like a nothing beer. It's, it's fresh. It's, it's something that I would expect on a tap in a CUB pub when they're trying to put something different on, to tell you the truth. Mm. Like when you go in and it's like, oh, that's new. Well, this it? is our craft. Yeah. yeah, and it's on once and you never see it again. Like it's not bad. It's something you could have heaps of them, no problem at all. I would drink a lot of this. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe on a, on the day where you just, it's like a summery type beer. Mm. When you just want to not think about what you're drinking and just want to get drunk, Yeah, I guess. Um, I, uh, well, well, let's compare it to something like 30. Like it's a little... Is it better than a furphy? Like, if we want a cheaper beer, we'll, we we sometimes will go in between and we'll go a furphy. Mm -hmm. But then we also go a steam rail. Mm. I think it's probably a little bit below furph. I think it's kind of at that furphy steam rail. Like, I don't know how much it is a slab, but you you wouldn't want to pay more than 50 You'd want it for $45 on sale to me. That's what I'm sort of thinking it's at. It's nothing amazing. Huh? It's nothing bad. It's definitely drinkable. Yeah, it's drinkable. Definitely. It's fine. It's just sort of a nothing beer. There's a sweet, a bit of a hop sweetness, I guess. Like, I can't taste. I don't know. A, a, a crisp passion fruit. Did we get crisp passion fruit? No. Nah. I struggle, and there's not really even much bitterness there. It's actually really smooth. It's smooth, 
It is crisp. It's easy to drink. It's barely flavoured type. It's not. It's not like a lager, I suppose. It's. Um, I don't. Know, I don't know what else to say about it. I'm pretty much said about it. Is it a refreshing ale? Yeah. Mm. It, if you yeah, it's going down quite well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just not at the, you know, really amazing. Like how many hay rum? There's three. Yeah, yeah. It's fine for what it is. I don't know how much they are. I think I saw them for about eighteen a six pack today. I think they're about eighteen. Were they? I'm not sure. I saw them in the fridge. Take note. Eighteen twenty bucks. Yeah. But then I saw another batch of theirs. Different ones. I'm not sure which ones they were. They were like twenty three a six pack. So. Yeah, it's pretty simple. There's no, as we're drinking along, there's no other flavours coming out. Yeah, it's fine. It's just, like, I, I, you could give that to lots of people and they would drink it and not go, you could give it. You could give it to your mum for Christmas. Yeah. If your mum's a beer drinker, she'd like that. I, I, I think I would drink that over Furfy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I'd drink it over, over Steam Rail. If they're the same price. Oh, okay. <laughs> when we're going the prices, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I could just, as an in-betweener, mm -hmm. you could just, you could have a lot without really affecting your taste buds or anything in between. So, we'll explain in-betweeners. We can't afford to drink six and eight dollar craft beer stubbies all the time. So, we, we can't have three or four a night and then the rest of the night. We have in between us. Not every night either, by the way. No, no. We drink responsibly here at Hey Rum. Um, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> three. So three Hey Runders. Three. Uh, yeah. I've probably. nearly drank mine. Yeah, same. It's really so, easy to drink. Yeah. Three Hey Runders and. Cheers. cheers.